well, would you look at that? Tackle is getting just as bad as Diego. Well, they do say that the girls in Spain are very passionate indeed. You know what I mean? <laughs> he must have spent so much time in their company, his backbone has gone completely. I don't understand. What does mixing with girls have to do with it, huh? Huh? Uh, well, <laughs> uh, what it means, Bernard, really is, uh, huh? Uh... Well, I'd like to thank you for your hospitality. I must be off now, Maria. The army needs me. There's a lot of important work to do, and it won't get done if I'm not there to take charge. For example, there is a considerable amount of money arriving in the town tomorrow. I have to make arrangements to make sure that it's well guarded. Sergeant, how much money is considerable? Well, apparently there is a... Uh... Huh? Oh-ho! Now, there are some really very pretty girls. Hmm. Mm. What do you do that for, Maria? I did that because I just found out you promised to get married to a girl from Spain without anyone's permission. I don't know how I'm going to apologize to your poor dead mother. I don't know what I'll say to her. Huh? Married? What do you mean I'm engaged to be married? Diego. I... I know her. Elena? This lady is my good friend Annabelle. I asked her to accompany me here. How do you do, Diego? How do you do, Mr. Vega? Very well, thank you. <clears throat> now, what exactly do you ladies think we can do for you? I think Diego knows why we're here. It wasn't very fair on Elaine or all her parents, Diego. They were so shocked when you left Spain without telling anyone of your plans. What do you mean I left Spain without telling them? I, I really don't understand what all this is about, Elena. Oh, Diego, can it really be true that you do not remember? Please, do not be sad, Elena. I told you at the time Diego was delirious from a high fever. You cannot blame him if he finds it hard to remember now. I, uh, uh, I mean... Diego, this is very serious. If what you tell me is true and Diego has promised to marry you, whatever the circumstances were, well, this is very serious indeed. And now I want you to tell me what happened. Don't leave out any detail. Just tell me the whole story. I must ask Diego something first. Do you remember Diego suffering a high fever whilst you were in Spain? What? Oh, yes, I do remember. That was just before I came back over here. Yes, and Elena's parents were very worried about you. They made Elena tend Diego and look after him. which she did with great care and affection. Until gradually, Diego and Elena. Wait, Elena. Huh? When I am well again, will you come with me? I mean, will you come to America with me? What? Elena, will you marry me? Just a minute, this is a lie. None of this took place. Oh, how can you say that? Oh. Maria, Maria. Hey, Maria, look at this. Oh, I'm sorry, you have guests. <laughs> Please excuse me butting in. Would you like to try some pie? It's something Maria taught me how to bake. Would somebody tell me who this woman is? Her name is Lolita and she's an intimate friend of Diego's and she has been ever since they were children. Thanks for helping. This is terrible, Diego, just terrible. How can you do such a thing when you have a girlfriend like her? Wait a minute. Elena. Elena. Diego. Mm -mm. What exactly is going on? What? Are you saying that Rogue had a fiancé all along? That's right. Don't you think we should get them a wedding present? After all, it's such a happy event. 
Don't be silly, Lolita. You know that you and Diego are supposed to be getting married at some point. Lolita! Lolita! Well, that's it. It's over. I just can't do it anymore. Poor Diego looks so confused. I cannot trouble the poor man anymore, Annabelle. I just can't do it. That's okay, Elena. Take it easy. I know that you did your best. I'll see what I can do now. We're in luck, as Diego already has a fiancé, and as you guessed, his father seems to be rich. They are gonna be only too pleased to give us as much money as we ask. Did you hear what I said? As much money as we ask. Oh! Oh, I'm so sorry, Diego! What do we have here? It's a letter from Jose. I rather think that you've been expecting it. Oh! Dear Elena, having to stay away from you is like not being able to feel the sun or not being allowed to see the stars. Stop it, Annabelle! Just stop it! I feel the same pain as Jose. Jose always used to love small animals, and he was so fond of birds. He's just not the sort of person who could cheat anyone out of money for whatever reason. Oh, Elena, if only our father had not had such bad luck, if only his business ventures hadn't failed, then you and Jose might have been... Yes, we need a lot of money now. And I'm aware of that, Annabelle. And I know we must do this. Well, we must do it if you and Jose are to be together, Elena. Yes? Good, now let us go in and have some tea. It's getting rather hot here. I've come to bring you some good news. It's about the coach that'll be leaving here tomorrow night. It is agreed that some of your customers will be allowed to travel on it, my friend. They have all been given special permission, so what do you think of that? Well, I'm sure it's very kind of you, Sergeant, but tell me. Isn't it, well, you know, kind of dangerous to carry all that money on a simple coach, Sergeant? If it were a heavily guarded coach, the robbers would know where to find the money. You see, this way we will trick them. Is anything wrong? What? Oh, I've forgotten something in the room. You go on ahead. Okay. So, of course, we choose a different route. Ha, 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 ha! That's not far now. We'll be there very soon. Wake up, Sarge. Hey, come on, Sergeant Gonzalez. Wake up. Huh? Ah, we're being robbed by bandits, ah! Huh? <laughs> that is a beautiful pendant, madame. In fact, it is almost as beautiful as you yourself. I wish I knew what was going on. Even Maria won't believe me. But I know that I never asked Elena to marry me. Not that I can get anyone to believe that, of course. There's something going on that I don't understand. Huh? How did you find out? How did you know exactly which route this coach would be taking? <laughs> yeah, you'd really like to know that, wouldn't you, Fatso? Huh? Get the money. <laughs> oh, hold it! Hey, now look here! Ooh, ooh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, my friends, let's go! Look up there! Let's get out of here! It's too late, you'll never catch us now! Let's go! I don't believe it! He's here already! You'll pay for this, you masked fool! So 
they changed the route of the coach to get the money there safely. It sounds as though Sergeant Gonzalez has come up with a brilliant idea. But they still knew where they could find the money, which means they know what's going on inside the army, so there must be some kind of traitor involved. It's no use thinking about it. In any case, you ought to go before Maria catches you up at this time of the night, Bernard, don't you think, huh? Oh, no, don't worry, Diego. Maria is in bed with a high fever because of the words that some boy said to some girl and a promise that he broke. Look, I told you I'm innocent. How many times do I have to tell you I never asked her to marry me? Ah, come on, Diego, you can trust me. You can tell me the truth. You know you can, and I can keep a secret as well as the next man. I told you now, oh, shut oh, up! Oh, 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 oh. I'll just have to talk to Elena tomorrow and try to get her to see reason. Jose! Oh, good morning, Elena. Jose, tell me, and I want the truth. Where were you yesterday? What? The whole town is in an uproar because a coach was attacked. They said that one of the bandits carried a bird in a cage. And that bird called out the name Jose. Ah, I see. And because of this, you think that I'm one of the bandits, Elena, right? No, no, no! Jose! Yes, I know what you're going to say. Yes, I'm trying to cheat someone out of some money, sure, but I'm not a common highwayman. Oh, I'm sorry, Jose. I'm sorry. I really am sorry. Oh! Oh, Jose, I really can't stay away from you anymore. My father gave this pendant to my mother before we ran into debt. Even my sister doesn't know. She doesn't? I want you to have it, Elena. Ah, Diego. And how are you? I am glad that you decided to come. I was on my way to visit you, so you've saved me a needless journey. Elena, is she in? I was coming over to tell you that Elena has decided to go back to Spain because you do not want to marry her. She is? Elena is in very deep shock. The worst thing is that her parents became sick when she told them she was coming over here to see you. I didn't know. Now we know that you do not want to marry Elena, so that's that. But as I'm sure you realize, things are not that easy. Elena just wants to leave. She intends to go back home without saying anything to you or anyone else. She will just leave. But before she does, and in order to make sure she is protected... What? I must talk to your father as soon as possible, Diego. Your family must atone with money for your refusal to marry Elena, my friend. Oh, what's the matter? Are you feeling just a little bit nervous about your forthcoming wedding lover boy? Lolita, I must talk to you. It's important. What? You want to talk to me? Oh, I see. You want to ask me what kind of furniture you should buy for your new home. Well, why don't you ask Elena? I'm sure she's got some ideas. Huh? Elena? Diego. Elena, I have something to ask you and it's important. Elena! I'm sorry, Diego. I'm sure that what Diego was saying was that Elena was involved. Diego has obviously got the idea from somewhere that Elena is connected with those men who robbed the coach yesterday. Whoa! Huh? Diego, oh, Diego, 
I feel awful. Who's there? Zoro! But Zoro, what have you come here for? I would like to ask a small favor of you, if I may. Dear Annabelle, get the money from Diego's father quickly. It's getting harder to trick Elena. There's a danger that she may find out what we're up to. As soon as we get the money, I think that we should get rid of her. Sorrow! I have another letter written in a woman's hand that I want you to read. Please study it. And then I want you to write what I say, imitating that hand. Can you do that? Yes, of course. Well, it looks as though this time the job is going to be real easy. Annabelle, wait! You'd better stop worrying about Diego and start worrying about yourself. It was him that wanted to settle this matter with money, Elena, right? I know, but wait! Look, everything's going to be fine after tonight, okay? Just don't worry about it. sad, my lady. Oh, who are you? Huh? They trust all that money to just two men? They must be crazy. They say that Don Vega is too greedy to ask the army for help. He wants the money to himself, but so do we. Let's go. We got him! <laughs> Whoa! Huh? Huh? What? <sighs> Why, gentlemen, what's the matter? Did something go wrong? You shouldn't believe everything that a pretty girl writes to you. Now you must pay the penalty for the cruel way that you treated Elena. <laughs> 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 trouble. This was the only way we could get money, wasn't it, right? Say something, Elena. Tell him, Elena. Tell him how it was. Elena! Oh! Uh, oh. Oh. I should like to see him locked up in jail for a long, long time. And make sure that she goes with him. Well, Sergeant, should we... Uh, uh, I'm sorry, Diego! I just don't know how to apologize to you, Diego. That's okay, Elena. Don't try. That's right, my dear. When we are young and in love, we often do things that we don't mean to. I've done so myself, oh, many times, my dear, many times. But the way I behaved was stupid, and I allowed myself to be used by those imposters. Elena. Hurry up, hurry up! Elena's ship's gonna sail soon! All right. 
It's your fault that we're late. Baking a pie as a gift is a good idea, but this was hardly the time to do it. But what if she were to get hungry on the boat? She'd have nothing to eat, Bernard. I don't believe it. Elena has been badly used, and us women must stick together. I'm going to help her all that I can. Treat her as though she's a sister. Hmm. <laughs> I have to go now. I hope that when I see you next time, Diego, I hope that... Huh? Ah, there they are! I hope that one day I can find a man like you, Diego. That is all I will ask out of life. Oh. <sighs> Oh, oh, Lolita! Oh, Diego! Oh, well, I guess that's women for you, right? Oh! Ooh.